Deploying a WhatsApp bot locally on your Android phone is a cost-effective way to automate tasks, whether for personal or business use. Unlike server-based methods, this approach eliminates the need for hosting services, saving you money. However, it comes with the requirement that your phone must remain turned on and connected to the internet for the bot to function continuously. This tutorial will walk you through every step of the process, ensuring you set up the bot successfully and efficiently. Before diving into the process, it's essential to check if your device meets the minimum requirements for running a WhatsApp bot. The device must have Android 5.0 or higher, at least 1 GB of RAM, and a minimum of 3 GB of storage space. These specifications ensure that your phone can handle the demands of running the bot and supporting its dependencies. The first step in deploying a WhatsApp bot is to install Termux, a terminal emulator and Linux environment app for Android. Termux is crucial because it allows you to install and run the required software for the bot. It's important to note that the version of Termux available on Google Play does not work well for this setup. Instead, you'll need to download it from a trusted source like GitHub, the link to which will be provided in the description. Once you have downloaded Termox, install it on your phone and open the app. A notification might pop up asking you to enable wake lock. If it does not do not worry, just continue with next step. Wake lock ensures that Termox can continue running in the background without interruptions, which is critical for the bot's functionality. After setting up Termox, the next step is to run the installation command. This command will be provided in the video description. Copy the command and paste it into Termux, then press Enter. The installation process will begin, which may take some time depending on your phone's processing speed and internet connection. During this process, Termux will download and install several dependencies required for the bot to operate. It's crucial to let the process complete without interruptions to avoid errors during the setup. Once the installation is complete, Termux will prompt you with a message asking, do you have a session ID scan today? At this point, you have two options. You can press then if you do not have a session ID. Alternatively, I suggest you type Y, then generate a new session ID by scanning a QR code. The link to scan the QR code will also be in the description box below. For many users, scanning a QR code is the simpler option, especially if they are new to deploying bots. To scan the QR code, open WhatsApp and navigate to the Link Devices section. Click on Link a Device and use the camera to scan the QR code displayed in Scan Page. This action links your WhatsApp account to the bot, allowing it to send and receive messages on your behalf. Once the QR code is successfully scanned, Session ID will be sent to your WhatsApp. This session ID is vital as it serves as the key to connect the bot to your account. With the session ID set up, copy and paste in Termux and click Enter. During this process, Termux will download and install several dependencies required for the bot to operate. Again, it's crucial to let the process complete without interruptions to avoid errors during the setup. After all the packages have been installed, the bot will now be operational. It can automate various tasks such as auto-replying to messages, scheduling messages, and even moderating group chats. However, for the bot to function continuously, Termux must remain open and connected to the internet. This limitation is particularly significant for devices running Android 12 and higher, as the operating system has a built-in feature that may close apps running in the background. To address this issue, you can use ADB, Android Debug Bridge. ADB is a versatile tool that allows you to perform actions such as keeping Termux active in the background. To use ADB, you'll first need to enable developer options on your phone. Go to the settings menu, navigate to the About Phone section, and tap on the build number seven times. This action will unlock developer options. From there, you can enable USB debugging, which is required for ADB to function. Once ADB is set up on your computer, you can execute commands to ensure Termux remains active, even when the phone is idle. If Termux is closed for any reason, simply reopen the app. Termux is designed to resume operations automatically, and a 5-second countdown will appear. If no action is taken during this countdown, the bot will restart and continue functioning as expected. 
This feature makes it easy to recover from interruptions and ensures the bot remains operational with minimal manual intervention. One of the standout features of deploying a WhatsApp bot locally is its versatility. The bot can perform a wide range of tasks, making it a valuable tool for both personal and professional use. For instance, it can send automated replies to messages, making it ideal for businesses that want to maintain prompt communication with customers. It can also schedule messages to be sent at specific times, which is useful for reminders or marketing campaigns. Additionally, the bot includes group moderation tools such as anti-spam filters, anti-link protection, and anti-bad word filters, ensuring that group chats remain organized and free from inappropriate content. Another advantage of this method is that it doesn't require any financial investment. Unlike server-based solutions, which may involve monthly hosting fees, deploying a bot locally on your phone is entirely free. This makes it an excellent choice for individuals or small businesses looking for a cost-effective automation solution. However, the trade-off is that your phone must remain turned on and connected to the internet at all times. While this may not be a significant issue for some users, it's a limitation to keep in mind when choosing this deployment method. To further enhance the bot's functionality, you can explore additional features and customization options. For example, you can integrate the bot with external APIs to fetch real-time data, such as weather updates or currency exchange rates. You can also program the bot to perform complex tasks like generating budget reports. These advanced features require some programming knowledge, but do not worry since the features are already inbuilt. In conclusion, deploying a WhatsApp bot locally on your Android phone is a practical and cost-effective solution for automating tasks. This method is easy to set up, provided your device meets the minimum requirements and it offers a wide range of features that can be customized to suit your needs. While it does have some limitations, such as the need for the device to remain active and connected, these can be managed with tools like ADB. If you're looking for a free and functional way to automate WhatsApp tasks, this guide provides all the information you need to get started. And that's how you can deploy a WhatsApp bot locally on your Android phone. If you found this tutorial helpful, be sure to check out my other videos where I explain how to deploy WhatsApp bots on platforms like Koyeb, Heroku, VPS services such as OVH, and even AWS, Amazon Web Services. Links are provided in the description section below. Ring the notification bell and watch the next video on the right about how to get Telegram Premium for free. If you enjoyed this, you'll probably love that one too. See you there.